Yeah, it feels great. It feels, it feels great to be a part of the team again. Actually going out there, going to war on a daily basis uh, with my teammates. So I'm just happy to be healthy enough to be back out there again. How are you feeling with the scheme? How are you feeling with the scheme, picking up the offense? Yes, sir. Oh, I feel great about it. You know, it's, it's a lot of great leaders on this team that, you know, they, they work with me on a daily basis, like Russ, DK, Freddie Swain. You know, they're constantly giving me pointers and reminders and helping me clean up my details on a daily basis. What kind of help does Russ fit? He said that you guys are out here early at 6 a.m. What's that been like? Oh, yeah, it's been great. You know, me and him are building our relationship. We come here as soon as the sun comes up, you know, so we're building our relationship and building a relationship uh, while I receive the quarterback as well. So, you know. What are you working on? Out here, uh, just a lot of the, the, the little tendencies that he does um, when it comes to how we do things um, at the wide receiver position, some of the plays, some of the signals and stuff like that. How did that come together? Was that something he brought to you or you thought it would be good? Yeah, so we, we just had a conversation. Um, I went to him and we were just talking about some things of how I could get better in certain areas. And then he had mentioned that he came here at, um, I think it said 550. So then, ever since then, I've been here at 550 uh, with him doing that. What was your reaction to 550 as opposed to I mean, it's what I got to do. So, you know, it, it hurts to get up that early, but, you know, it's worth it in the long run. <laughs> so when you're here at 550, what time does the alarm go off at home? It goes off at 515. Okay. Yeah, 515. You yeah. prefer that, um, you, you know, prefer getting that. the transition bed from the time college. Oh, man, it's been great, you know what I'm saying? You know, the guys, they, they took me in, you know, accepted me for who I was, and, you know, we got some coming. Uh, this, this man named DK, uh, yeah, he, he accepted me, allowed me to come in and be an alpha as well. <laughs> well can you describe to us the, the issue you were dealing with with your toe? When that started? Um, it has started at mini camp. Um, I have felt that my big toes had some inflammation in them. Um, and then everything after that was pretty much downhill um, when it came to the inflammation part. So now I'm getting back to it, you know, they're getting back healthy, decided to be back out there. It sounds like there was some shoe related uh, solution that the equipment staff came up with. What, what was that all about? Uh, yeah, it was, it was a combination of many different things when it came to my shoes, my cleats, um, the sizes of my shoes, certain socks that uh, take away the, the slipping in the shoe. So, you know, it was, it was a combination of a lot of things. Is it all figured out now, and do you feel 100% on that? Or? Yes, sir. You fearing you were getting left behind your first camp and everything? Was there any anxiety about that? Yeah, it was some pressure at first, you know, but that tells you what type of team the Seattle Seahawks, um, the type of organization this is, you know, because they constantly encourage me, you know, telling me that there is no pressure. You know, the only pressure that is present is the ones that I'm putting on myself, you know, so credit to Pete Carroll and all the guys that, you know, just allowed me to get healthy and be a part of this team. How comfortable do you feel out there, I guess, with the playbook and everything? I mean, do you feel like you're behind it all, or are you just kind of out I feel comfortable. Yes, sir. We saw you uh, take that quick screen early in practice today, and you ran at the end zone. We've heard a lot about the, the quick passing game that this offense is installing. How do you feel like that suits your skills? I feel like it suits me perfect. You know, because obviously, like my, my college tape shows, you know, I was getting the ball quick in my hands and making things happen. So, you know, I, I feel I can continue to do that within this offense, and it's, it's built around the guys that are in this room. You know, so it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of great things in store for this season. How eager would you be to play in the preseason? Do you think that's something you do? Say one time for me. Playing in the preseason, is that something you want to try to do? Yes, sir, definitely. Yeah, we're just going, we're still going by day to day, um, day to day time frame, you know, just to make sure everything is good. Um, just keep on compounding, compounding these days so that for the regular season, you know, there's no hiccups. What do you think has been the biggest adjustment behind the main? I would say just the mental. It's a lot of mental load when it comes to being a receiver here. It's like playing quarterback. You know, I got to be on the same page as Russ at all times. You know, I can't just worry about what I have to do. I got to worry about what the defense is doing, and I got to worry about a lot more things when it comes to Russ. So I, I would definitely say the mental aspect of it. What, what stood out about when you watched DK maybe last year on, on TV and now when you watch him in person? What maybe stands out as a difference? Uh, he a workhorse. You know, I feel like we have a lot of things in Comex things, the way that he's built. You know, I always pay attention to things like that, the way he gets in and out of his cuts. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that he does, you know, I try to reciprocate and put that into my game, apply it to my game. What do you think makes DK great? I would say his mindset. 
You know, he got a strong mind. You know, he got he comes out here and attacks every day, even though he's the superstar of the world. So, you know, that tells that tells you enough right there. And working on, on uh, return games as well? Yes, sir. Do you have to do rookie stuff, like hazing, buy snacks, things like that yet? I'm going to have to get Popeyes, and I'm probably going to have to get it again this week. For the, for the whole office, just receivers? Just a receiver group. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. it's not that bad, you know, not that bad at all. In this receiver group and this competition, what do you kind of see as your main advantage uh, when you do both with Freddie and um, I feel like I just, I work off of them, you know, I come into a room, you know, I'm obviously an alpha, and I just come in and find my way and make a way and make the guys around me better. So, you know, I just continue to doing that and then continue to learn from those guys as well. Thank you, all. Appreciate it.